when you're in the arts, it's a weird feeling. Because it's like you're flying, it feels like you're flying. And when you're spinning as well, you're seeing the whole world rotate around you. I couldn't imagine life without it. Because my brother used to work here and then he came home one day saying, they've got a snowboard, they've got a snowboard. You know, me and all my friends used to come up here and this is where we spent a lot of our youth. As a kid, I was 13 at the time, it was good fun because it was one of the first in the country. It was totally kind of alien at that time and suddenly in Rosendale, working class lads and girls can, can come have a ski. I love the atmosphere. There is a community. Everyone's friends with everyone, really. I was never the most confident kid, then I started snowboarding. It's boosted my confidence a lot. If you say you come from Rosendale, they say, oh, there's a ski centre there. Correct. And it's the ski centre that puts Rosendale on the map. Well, a lot of the, the big names came out of here. Paul Mitten, Johnny Greenwood. Steve Bailey came out of here. He was before my time. Well, it got to the point where the people who were running it couldn't run it anymore. So it had to, to close down, really. I was already saying to a group of friends of mine, I said, we can run this. We should be able to run this. So they shut it down and then asked for tenders to come in. And we put one in and, and luckily, you know, we ultimately got the, got the slot. It would have been a real shame for the start of snowboarding. People around here wouldn't have been able to come up for a taste lesson like I did and all my family did. So we all came here, my mum dropped us all off and went and did a shopping or whatever, walked the dog and then came back and picked us all up and it was what we did every Saturday afternoon type thing. Boarders that use this now are coming back, we've got more and more coming to use the facility. There is a definite vibe with the snowboarders, which is different to skiers. It is very kind of social, it's kind of trendy if you want to call it that. It's often paralleled up as like Star Wars, that the snowboarders are the dark side. And if you go to the light, you're skiers, you see. To the point whereby, you know, we have sweatshirts that say, if you're a snowboarder, you'll have sit written on the back. They respect the skiers now, whereas in early years, it was stick it to the man, us and them, whereas now it's not. But they just get on really well. My son started skiing, and skiing is a lot easier to learn. But because we have snowboards, he was saying, I want a snowboard, I want a snowboard. Cooler. <laughs> Without Rosendale, I wouldn't be snowboarding. I wouldn't be where I'm at. It's like my second home. I just feel happy as soon as I get there. It will not be knocked down. We will stand by it and we will keep it moving forward, yeah. It's nice to just be able to bring my own children up to the facility that I started at. And it's very nice. <laughs> I'm glad it's still here. <laughs>